What's up, Patio Tanks? How we doing today, man? It's Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. There's Kane doing his thing. This is the big SRD that I got. I wouldn't say big, but this dude's probably like six inch flat. Uh, he's doing really, really good. His coat definitely grew. Colors are coming in nicely. Not too shabby. I wish he had some a little bit more redness or blue on the body, but uh, I don't know. I think I learned to like this stuff right here, this color. This dude, I don't know what to do with him, man. He's in his corner all the time. If there's food, he'll eat food. Uh, if I stay out here long enough, he'll probably swim, swim around, if not, usually try to stay in this corner little corner right here it's like a cave i don't know man but i'm gonna grow him out he has really nice pearls too um not too bad i wish his red would come in a little bit more but i think this is this is just the tank that he don't like sorry for the dirty tank i have not done a water change for about four days now like i said i would make recommend three days every three days but this time uh i've been pretty busy lately so i have not done it um but inferno has fully recovered i will be doing a water change soon uh not tonight tomorrow definitely um and then uh i'm gonna probably after two days or a day so probably do a thin trim on him i think i did okay trimming my first time you guys notice his his fin were a little bit sh shorter now back then or like two weeks ago it was a lot longer uh, it's shorter I did a trim on it first T let me know if this is an f3 because i feel like he's an f3 but he just doesn't have a big giant coke like a f3 uh, i think f3 their cokes are a little more like a zz round uh perfect circle looks really good i just turned on the lights on for the uh, for this video but scarecrow is looking fantastic fabulous i love that right there i don't know why but on screen or in the video his pearl is like glowy you guys see that see right there but in person it doesn't glow it's like just creamy pearly white this is really good though. I like that. I like that a lot. And that dude over there, I call him Shaggy. That's his name, Shaggy. I threw in a parrot in there too. It's hiding from him. He's gone really aggressive uh, for the past few days. I think it's about it's been about three days that um, he's fully recovered. His color came back. His pearls came back. Everything came back. This dude's coke grew too, quite a bit within three days. You know um, with with having to like look sick or be sick and lose all of his coke and within three days he doubled that at first it was like slightly smaller like yeah, slightly smaller and then uh he grew pretty pretty good it grew pretty good and but this tank is filthy i need to do a water change soon as for today I'll be doing a toe second food. Uh, like I said from the previous video, I bought a total of four bags now. I have one inside the house. These are the uh, two unopened one, and I'll be doing a review on these two right here. This is the first one that I bought, and I was really satisfied with the results. So I bought, I bought three more from my buddy, um, Duke Nukem. That's his name on Facebook. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say his real name but that's his Facebook name Duke Nukem um, I'll be going into details of like how I use them and uh, what it did for me since there's no label uh, no percentage of whatsoever is on the food no ingredients and stuff so let's get right into it all right so as far as the Tosekin food uh, shows me improvement you guys see all my fish doing good 
it's all thanks to this. Um, I did try to feed other food too, but they didn't want it or they did not show any progress at all. Um, you guys have seen the progress of how my fish has been for the past couple of videos, but this food definitely brought out the color, definitely brought out the pearls, and definitely grew their coats. Um, I know I've been feeding Grand Sumo for like ever, and uh, other food like a lot, and I mixed them around, but it really doesn't show or give me a, a result of like, bam, I like it, you know. This, this really gives me that, um, definitely color. I know that King was like not happy for a while and I gave him this food and his coat just whoosh, exploded. I wouldn't say explode, but you guys saw him earlier. Like his coat grew, his pearls went crossing the head. It, he had more color of orange. Um, it wasn't so, he wasn't so lime looking anymore. Uh, same with uh, Shaggy, same with um, the last video you guys saw Inferno. He, he was dark, pale, like, purple looking like a dead fish same with the big uh zz that that i got um he, he they all look, did, didn't really look good um, even before that i brought the fish home too he didn't really look that good and just giving them these food um allowed them to like look 10 times better or 100 times better than what they already are um, i'm not gonna be promoting this like or flexing this but it really really does the work for me um, I would say this is like one of my top food with Grand Sumo uh, my other one is fake food but I've been trying a lot of food and I cannot I haven't gotten the time to go buy fake food at 916 Aquatics um, I think another oh how to feed these or um, how much you should feed these I try to do around 20 to 30 depending on size so king and my other fish they're like four inches plus or four inches bigger i do around like 30 pellets because these are small pellets you guys can see they're really really small pellets um i try to do around like 30 pellets on average uh you have my smaller fish like inferno scarecrow shaggy and the other zz or srd i try to do like around like 20 um how did I come up with that number? Well, I fed it to them. And if it's anything over 22, 23, like it's leftover. They wouldn't touch it anymore. They get full after that. Um, but I do two two servings per day because I work a nine to five job. So I wake up in the morning, feed them. Once I get home, I feed them. Um, but if like it's on a weekend or if like I'm on Friday, I'm off. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm off. I wake up, I do 15 pellets. And then like maybe in the afternoon, lunch, like three. I would say, never mind, I would say two. Uh, one to two o'clock, I feed around like 12 to 15 pellets again. And then um, at night, I would do another 12 to 15 pellets, depending on size. So if it's for like bigger fish, like King and the other ZZ, which is for like four inch plus, I would do uh, first serving like 18. And then, or 18, 15 to 18. And then uh, second serving, I would do 15 to 18 again. And then last serving, I would do 20 to 25. Um, just so they could get that nutrient in their body. I do feed Grand Sumo and other f food the same amount too, but this one just gives me a better result overall. Um, their Coke, I don't know if this is made for Coke, um, but as far as results wise, their coke has been growing, um, not dramatically, but you could tell a difference, you know, um, the color, definitely the color has brightened up and, and pearls really just, yeah, it really helps their pearls and uh, growth, I would say okay on growth. Um, yeah. Oh, and it, it makes the fish really, really active. As far as that ZZ right there, he's active if I don't go see him. But if I'm like, I'm sitting right here, he's like, look over there. Look. He's over there swimming around on top in the middle, at the bottom, swimming around. But if I go up to him, he's just gonna lose it and go hide in his corner again. Yeah. But this, this food, um, hit him up. I'll put it in the description down below, Duke Nukem. 
his Facebook. I'll put it in, in my description on this video. Um, and you guys could check it out. I'll have a little video of uh, my SRD that I just bought from 710 Flowerhorns uh, at the end of this video. He looks super good right now. I need to trim his fin so it could grow out the bottom, could grow out bigger or longer. Uh, that is it for um, for the toast taking food. How do you take some yeah.